Hi everyone, welcome to the video. So this month, June 2020, it's 40 years since I've had Crohn's. So it's my 40th Crohn's anniversary this month. Happy anniversary. In this video, I'm just gonna go through some experience I had over the last 40 years. Some of the great things, some of the shitty things. Yeah, that's right. I know I'm not the only one who's had Crohn's for over 40 years. Uh, I have Crohn's. I remember the waiting rooms at the sick kids hospital and they were pretty busy. Chris has Crohn's disease. My daughter Lindsay also has Crohn's. She'll have her four year anniversary this year. Imagine having something for 40 years. You'll have five this year and I'm 40. What are the best parts about having it? I have an excuse for not wanting to eat at people's houses. They attention to me, they don't mean to me. And I get to talk about myself for like four hours. I had a Jamaican nurse. Jamaican nurse? Really yeah. Nice. Yeah. I would get like chicken broth, I mean vegetable broth, and I would like want to puke it up. And I'd be like, it's bland. And she'd be like, come on, don't you want to try it? And I'm like, no, it's gross and bland. She's like, I get that. I'm from Jamaica. We have lots of nice spices. Yes. Yeah. So what makes me feel the best? Not eating. Not eating is the best. 40 years ago, when I was in the hospital for two weeks, I was so hungry because I couldn't eat anything that all I watched on TV was cooking shows. I ended up making my own recipe book because I was so picky that I made a recipe book with only ingredients that I like. And I still have it. Here's the first time I ever printed. Lens Amazing Recipes. Chicken sausage, deep fried fries, potato, potato chips, special spaghetti sauce, micro dog, sweet and sour spare ribs, coconut cookies, yellow cake, meatball delight, meteor kebab. Maybe I should publish this recipe book one day. It was printed with my Commodore 64. See the paper? It's still from like 35-ish years ago, this paper. I have a peanut butter and jam recipe. Two slices of bread or crackers, jam, peanut butter. Page 40. <laughs> That's a good one. My Vitamix drink every day also helps me feel good. Not just not eating. I'll have one of these every day. Sometimes not until noon. I'll get out of bed, go off to the computer, sit there till lunchtime, and then come back down to the kitchen. And then I'll have my drink, my breakfast, and then I won't have lunch till dinner time, which is my dinner. So a combination of not eating with this drink is the best for me. Then there were the Ensure days. I spent almost two years only drinking Ensure. No food, nothing, just Ensure. I tell you, it was so convenient. You get up in the morning, go to school or work, whatever I was doing at the time. You get up, go downstairs, chug an Ensure, out the door. Or lunch, snacks, everything was so fast. When I was in school, I had my little cooler put in my locker. I would go in between classes, chug the Ensure. Didn't have to worry about eating, going to buy food. It was so convenient. My friend Pasquale used to hate when I couldn't eat. He was so happy when I started being able to eat. I'll eat for you, Pasquale. There was one time I went with my friend Mark to go buy his motorcycle and they had a barbecue there. It had these, oh, it smelled so good. So I went up to the guy, I'm like, yeah, can I just have a bun? And the guy's like, okay. So I just had like a plain white bread bun. It was such a good bun. There's a lot of other times I couldn't eat. A couple times I did the tube feeding where every night I put a tube down my nose, got fed, took it out in the morning. My daughter did the same thing, but she kept it in for a month. She went to school, she went everywhere with that tube. And of course there's prednisone. Check out these two photos. Which one of me is taking prednisone? Can you tell? Can you guess? One more. Chef, there's a hair in my dish. All right, so can you guess what happens after the fried chicken? But it was good. I've been on a weight gain mission for 40 years. And then there's those fistulas, ugh. How gross and painful are they? They're like the worst. No one ever wants to talk about those. And we won't. They messed up a couple of my vacations. But I still got to go on a lot of other trips. I've been to Florida, Las Vegas, New York, Myrtle Beach, Daytona Beach, Clearwater, Grand Canyon, Bolivia, Hawaii, New Zealand, Cook Islands, Australia, Italy, Amsterdam, Paris, England, Malta, Cuba, Mexico, Amsterdam. But all those trips, I still had to go find the toilet, but even if I was home, I have to do that anyway, so what's the difference? I'm pretty sure why this drink makes me feel good is a lot with to do with the blueberries and seeds. They just sort of empty me out. When I'm empty, feel good. <sighs> Tastes good too. Another thing I've been doing for the past 40 years, is always try to exercise, play all the sports. I'm out here mountain biking. I've never been the best, but you still always go out and try whatever you have to do. We're gonna go to Ed's house. We're gonna eat the cake over there. Okay. Who wants cake? Is it like that Duncan Hines thing that you mix up yourself? Yeah. Oh boy. There you go. <laughs>
Oh, well, I took the icing off. <laughs> Did you make this in the shower? Yeah, I, I, I made it while I bathed. I prepared it as I bathed. If you might have seen, you can tell I like Seinfeld. Giddy up. Yeah. One of the first times I watched an episode of Seinfeld, I was in the hospital. It was a couple days after surgery. So you just imagine watching Seinfeld laughing with a bunch of staples in your stomach. But most of the cake is gone. Everyone seems to like it. So there are just a few pieces of my 40 year anniversary in about five minutes. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Mukbang. Mukbangs? What is a mukbang? I don't know what a mukbang is. Okay, mukbang is when you like sit down and like you eat a lot of food in front of a camera. Oh, okay. So that's what a mukbang is. Okay, I never knew that. Anyways. 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 One more Dave single, just a burger. Sorry, just a minute. She's just gonna be a minute. Oh, one more minute. And my favorite song right now is Teardrops on my guitar. Okay. Um, I got it. With the driving, that's gonna go flying, Lindsay. I got, I'm holding them on my thumbs. I've thrown up a lot in the last, let's say, 40 years. Put it this way, I do not have a puking record like some people. I know, I haven't thrown up since June 29th, 1980. <laughs> I just realized that's today, June 29th, 1980. That's Jerry Seinfeld's vomit streak. He hasn't thrown up since June 29th. That's 40 years today.